This is Evangelist Terry Carter once again. We are facing major issues in this country. Uh, reference immigration. Uh, there is no way that Islam and America can coexist. Pardon my hair. Uh, we need to realize that Muslim children from the time that they're old enough to walk are taught to hate non-Muslims or the kafir as they refer to it as or infidels, okay? When they can become four and five they, they are taught how to behead uh, people. Uh, and as they get older, it gets worse and worse. And these kids are, are in Islamic schools, they're taught the Quran. That's it. No other academics. Uh, and we got to realize that these children have been bred from birth to kill. They are taught that killing will get them a re reward in their so-called heaven. Okay? Now this teaching has been gone gone going on for 1400 years uh, these terrorists do not fear dying because they feel that they are doing God a service Uh, their God, Allah, a service. And, uh, so there's there's no fear of death there, uh, whatsoever on on their part. This is what makes them so dangerous, okay? They do not care who they kill. They have no remorse for who they kill. There is no compassion in these uh, people, okay? If you do not convert to Islam, they will kill you. And in some cases, they will go ahead and kill you anyway. Islam is a religion Oh, I'm not going to call it a religion, it's a cult. That believes that it's the only religion and that Allah is the only God and that all men should be subject unto Allah. They are taught this when the time that they're little, uh, kids are beaten into submission when they refuse to do what they're told to uh, by their teachers. The desire to kill by children is n is not normal. Okay. Uh, these Islamic children is forced upon them. 
And then you you have the sex and the, and the slavery and the inbreeding that's been going on for centuries. Are the very reason that these people are so violent. The DNA structure is just destroyed from years of inbreeding. Uh, they claim to be against, uh, you know, if, if they see a woman not dressed properly, uh, they'll beat them or stone them to death uh, because they, they consider them to be a whore. Acting like they're a moral person, when when in actuality, they were they they rape and pray to their God while they do. Okay. There was a story of a ten-year-old girl that was on the internet a while back, when she said that the guy would. would bow down and pray to Allah and and then rape her and then do it again. Believing that they are following the will of Allah. These these terrorists are dangerous people. And Americans, you should not take this lightly. I'm telling you, we need to insist that the immigration uh, refugees, Syrian refugees in this country be stopped. Fifteen states so far have stood up to Obama. Don't be fooled. I mean, organizations like uh, CARE and uh, the ISNA say, well, Islam is a religion of peace. Ims people, Muslims don't come into this country to better their lives. They come into this country to change our lives to what theirs is. Because they believe that Sharia law is the way, okay? Every single country where Islam exists is in poverty. And who, who gets all the wealth is the leaders of those countries. But the people are poor and the leaders want to keep them that way you people that's in black lives matter and the new uh, black panther party you ain't seen nothing yet until, until Islam takes over this country. You think you're poor now? The way you're living now will look like you live in a mansion compared to what it will be. Uh, Islam is the most dangerous threat to this world. The most dangerous threat this world has ever seen. More dangerous than Hitler ever was. And we cannot continue to allow the growth of Islam in this country.
These people are demon are, are empowered by demons. I mean, when you take joy in killing people, draining their blood, and drinking it, and eating the body parts, or selling the blood of Christians on the market to other groups, so they can drink it, These people are without soul. They're without conscience. Women in Islam are enslaved to it. You either comply with your husband or you get beat. You either, the children either complied to the wishes of the parents. These parents raise these parents raise these kids to be suicide bombers or soldiers of the law. They don't care about their kids as long as the goal of Islam is achieved and they're willing to have children and they're willing to sacrifice their children in war and battle to obey the will of Allah, which a God that doesn't even exist, and a prophet that was never even a prophet. We need to make it clearly understood in America that we will not accept the growth is Islam in this country. There is no such thing as peaceful Islam. Modern Islam does not exist. Those who claim to be tame are actually apostate from the religion because the Quran says that they must kill the infidel and those that refuse to therefore are apostate to the Muslim faith. Uh, so don't be fooled by care. Don't be fooled by the Islamic society in North America. Or the nation of Islam. It's all the same thing. It's all the same goal. It's world domination. President Obama is right smack in the middle of it. Okay. He is a Muslim. Everything about him shows that he is a Muslim. He even said that if the tide turns against him in America that he would turn to Islam and he has. And that's the only truth that he has told since he's been in office. So America, it's time to wake up. We need to stop the building of mosques, stop the growth of Islam in this country. Because if we don't, it will be our undoing. Anyway, that's all I have to say on this. Thank you for listening and have a good evening.